In our first video, David and I thought it would be a cool idea to put a camera inside of a 3 frame projectile and shoot it out of a cannon. Although our projectile's trajectory was pretty stable in flight, it still rolled like crazy. After some investigation, we concluded that this spinning was caused by a slight deflection in the fins relative to the projectile's direction of motion. And while rotation can be a good thing for aerodynamic stability, it's not so ideal when your aerodynamic object is supposed to be recording. Now we thought about digitally correcting this, but the difference in aspect ratios was so off that it made it look almost as weird as when it was spinning. Recently, a new startup called Rebel told us to do the same project but using one of their cameras. How's their camera different, you may ask? This camera uses a motor, accelerometer, and digital image correction to automatically straighten out footage that would otherwise be loopy. So now, we have a camera that can compensate for projectile roll. Oh, and we have one more treat for you. Rather than reusing the pneumatic cannon, we built a launcher that's going to send this practically over the moon. And to make it look nice and fresh, we modeled it after the Swedish AT-4. Ready? Do it. Oof. So what I'm going to do is turn it on. Alright, you see how it just self-corrected? So if I spin this, in theory, the motor should self-correct for the orientation. And look at that. So when this gets launched out, you won't even be able to tell. Oh my god, I feel like a kid again. This is so fun. You look like one too. <laughs> Before we drive out to the middle of nowhere, we need to make sure our Prop AT4 actually works. So, for this quick test, I'm not shooting anything out of the barrel. All I'm hearing for is a big boom. Okay, here is our professionally made test picture. We have the rocket launcher sitting on cardboard and a heavy box behind it. To push the trigger, I have this stick. Let's do this. Test in three, two, one. It works! <laughs> Woo! It actually worked. Okay, now we're off to the middle of nowhere. Okay, so before we shoot the camera out of it, let me show you exactly how it works. We're gonna be using an electronic trigger system. All we need to do first is add a nine volt battery, put the cap back on, and when you're ready to shoot it, you lift the safety on, switch it, and then push the button. In theory, the Revel inside its 3 print projectile should shoot out and then give us some amazing footage. We hope. Right? I will be amazed if this works. No My way. prediction right now, the camera is gonna break. Explode into a million pieces. But it's cool, we have a rocket launcher now. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> No clue where the camera went. Oh, I saw it. Yeah? I saw it, yeah. Did not fly stable though. Did it fly straight? No, not at all. Rolling. Three, two, one. All right, hey, I lived. <laughs> cool. All right, let's go look for the camera. That was scary, man. I was scared too. And I was that was the first time we shoulder mounted that. There it is. <laughs> Look at this. It's a disaster. Hey, it's still on though. The Revel still functions, but the cannon or the projectile is clearly completely oh. done for. No, this is more important, dude. Look, still works. Do you know how long this print took? Look at that Revel quality. <laughs> They're not paying us. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing got completely destroyed when it landed. Probably rolled a few times and this got completely just torn up, ripped out, the Revel flew everywhere. But the good thing about having interchangeable parts is the base here is pretty intact. So we can just swap out the part that was holding the Revel with this new piece, like so. Shwoop, and bam, ready to roll. We noticed another issue. When we were reviewing the footage, we saw the back of the projectile starts to swing out towards the front. 
This means it was not aerodynamically stable and was likely caused because the center of gravity or the majority of the weight in the projectile was too far rearwards. And while the Revel is a good camera, it can compensate for this kind of roll, it can compensate if you're not facing the direction you're going. Now the bright side is, it's pretty easy to fix this. All we have to do is add an extension to the middle that pushes the majority of the weight towards the front of the projectile. And in order to save time, we're going to move to Golden Gate Park. So to do that, we'll have to use a pneumatic cannon. Okay, so I just turned on the Revel and connected it to the app. So now you can see what's filming. This time, David's going to shoot it. Ready, David? All right, here you go. Three, two, one. Oh God. <laughs> Three, two, one. Look, still turning. Oh my gosh. You would figure that the plexiglass in the front would break. That was like a straight nosedive into yeah, the ground. Just like our careers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take shot number two, but we're gonna do a lower angle. Just see right. how many times it takes until it finally collapses. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I saw it disconnect at the end there. Did it work? Let's find out. When I picked it up, these two were jammed together, so it wasn't able to rotate in here. But it's probably when it landed, so. Oh, it still turns on. Oh, the Revel's fine. All right, let's check out the footage. Let's do it. Ready? Yep. Five, three, two, one. Uh, uh, overexposed. No. Uh, that looks pretty good. That was good. So it's still working. You can hear the motor running in the background. <laughs> Just let me die. All right, we were setting up for the next shot, but then when we started recording on the Revel, we just noticed that now permanent, it yeah, and now 80 degrees off of normal is up. Oh, oh man. Oh, wait, oh, no, it just flipped around. Flipped around. Oh. So now it's, now it's the other way. Now oh. it's going back again. <laughs> Dang, we wrecked this shit. Okay, I know we just ended that last clip saying that it's broken, but we thought, why not shoot it while it's broken? You know, kick them while they're down. That's what maybe, my daddy always taught me. Maybe if we hit the ground at the same impact velocity. Uh-huh, and the same angle. I see where you're going here. It'll fix itself. That's how science usually works. <laughs> let's give it a try. All right, let's do it. One. Oh, this is the end of the camera for sure. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Is that the Revel or is that the glass? No, that's the glass. Revel is also cracked though. Is it cracked? Yeah, look at that in there. See it? That was the Revel's unfortunate swan shot there. It's done for. Hopefully the footage will justify us destroying this expensive camera. Okay, ready? Let's check it out. Ooh. Oh! Hey, it's self-correcting. Wait, oh, oh, wait, no, oh, no, oh, oh. oh, It's not spinning though. Bam, oh, look at that lens. Oh, uh, ah. Hey, but you can kind of still see through the, uh, the cracked aperture of the camera. You're right, it's like the silver lining in the cracked lens. Hold on, I want to see when you pull the cap off if you can see the crack. You can see it right there. Yeah, nice dark smudge. Cool. We had our fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. Oh, God, we're done. <laughs> yeah, finally. Uh, we got the footage we were after, and it came out awesomely. Finally, awesomely. It's the adverbial form of awesome. You can fucking contradict me while we're rolling. On top of that, we're left with an awesome rocket launcher. Unfortunately, oh, awesome. Hey. <laughs> Unfortunately, we only got to shoot it a couple times. So, if you have an idea of what we can use this for in a future project, please leave a comment down below. And please leave something truly inspirational because we're going to pick the best comment from one of our subscribers and give them one of the projectiles we shot in this video. Thanks for watching. Stay awesomely. <laughs>